Can you run an RTX 4070 base system in the most demanding environments in Microsoft Flight Simulator? That is London City pouring down real world weather payware aircraft in the Pimax Crystal. And I'm talking about a system that only costs about £1,400, okay? In comparison, my own system from Stormforce, which is the brand I'm using by the way, is worth £4,000. So this is an incredible deal, if, that is, you can run the Pimax Crystal. Well, this is where I thought this would be a great test to fly out of London City and really stress test everything. So the settings I'm running, I'm using eye tracking. That's the big deal here because the Pimax client, which is beta at the time's recording, now enables eye tracking to be used. And thanks to Matt, the Pimax XR switcher has now been updated to use eye tracking as well. And that gives you about 10% performance back. I'm also using a DLSS with FSR with 70% sharpening. And you might be able to see sort of the culling of the image on the mirror uh, display that you're watching. So sorry about that. Uh, it might be, the, you know, a bit difficult to watch this, but hopefully it's not going to be too bad. But in the headset, it looks absolutely fantastic. I'm also running the Pimax Crystal at uh, 0.75 of its resolution, but it still looks very, very good. And it's pumping out at the moment 3,234 by 3,826. And we're getting sat on the ground here between 35 and 36 frames per second, maybe a bit more, 38 frames per second now. I think for a budget system, and I'm saying budget in terms of the price, not necessarily the graphics card, I think that's pretty damn impressive. So yeah, I'm a huge fan of Stormforce, and actually even though they're not a sponsor of the channel, people ask me all the time, what PC do I use? What powers my videos in VR? Well, it's Stormforce, because I do really like that brand, and they're a UK supplier. And even though this is a cheaper end computer, it's still very much um, a high quality computer, as you can see there. Right, so that being said, we're gonna fly out of London City quickly. And then after that, we'll go somewhere else, a little bit less taxing. This is the Cessna 182 RG, by the way, by Carinado. It's a very nice aircraft, although the flight modeling isn't particularly amazing. But, you know, Carinado are known for their quality in terms of their texturing and sounds and all the rest of it. And I just, I do enjoy flying this bird, even though, you know, it's not the best I've ever seen. <laughs> so even though we're down to about 35-ish frames per second, this feels okay, really. Especially, as you have to remember, this is an RTX 4070 recording as well. I think the eye tracking is definitely just giving me that extra bit of uh, headroom. I think it would probably be about 30 frames per second otherwise, because you do get between 5 and 7 frames per second more when using eye tracking. And I always say, folks, that London City is the PC breaker test. And I've purposely come here for that reason. And the fact that at the moment, the weather has taken a turn for the worst. This is real world weather and it's, it's just tons of layers of cloud. Now, of course, I'm not running nowhere near ultra settings here, guys. Let's be realistic about this test. I don't want people in the comments moaning about the, oh, it's only 30 frames per second. You're missing the point if you think that way. I am literally trying to break this little computer, and it is, it's tiny compared to my high-end sort of huge 4090 base system, yet it's within about 20 frames per second in VR, especially when using the eye tracking of the Pimax Crystal. So at the moment, as I say, I think they might be a discount for my subscribers, but even if there isn't, guys, you're getting a great deal with this computer, and the reason why I keep plugging it well, it's the least I can do. It is the least I can do because Stormforce has given me this computer to, uh, you know, test for a few weeks. You know, I often find it quite 
funny how there are some people out there that tend to get very irritated in the comments when I showcase high-end uh, hardware like the Vi Aero or say a, you know, a really expensive computer and I understand that, you know, not everyone can afford one and I appreciate that. However, when I do show more mid-range systems like this, they tend to get very low views. So <laughs> I can't win either way. But, you know, this channel isn't about that. It's about sort of showcasing all manner of technology from the lower end, mid-range and high end. And of course, sharing my flying, showcasing new aircraft, the whole aviation spectrum. Apart from perhaps airliners, because I'm not really much of an airliner fan. And a lot of that is down to the fact that I just don't know how to operate them very well. <laughs> you know, the 146 Professional is probably my favorite airliner and I remember studying that for a while and I really did enjoy it. So please do let me know in the comments if you'd like to see me fly airliners, but it's not something that I particularly enjoy. And this channel, at the heart is just me showing things that I do enjoy. And I hope this is of some interest to you for anyone who is looking at getting a Pimax Crystal but can't really afford a 4090. So let's go somewhere else, perhaps uh, Scotland or somewhere a little bit less taxing to see what kind of performance we can get there. I'll see you in a moment. Right then, so I've decided to fly around Scotland since usually by this time, I've gone here on the motorbike, but we haven't been here this year, yet. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so this feels very, very smooth. 45 frames per second, up to nearly, yeah, 50 frames per second, 49 anyway. <laughs> you know what, actually, I've been talking to Melissa about this computer and I'm quite tempted to buy it myself because I am that impressed with it and it would be great to have a second perhaps recording computer or even a second computer so that when I do settings videos I get a good indication of what works for different hardware. I really think truly this is a fantastic system from Stormforce and uh, well if you are in the UK I would recommend it. If you're not, um, I'm not sure if they deliver outside the UK at the moment, but at least it gives you an idea of what to expect with the uh, specifications. Another thing I want to mention before I forget, and that is I'm using VR Rock lens inserts, and I'm pleased to tell you that the eye tracking is working fine with these inserts. I did tell them, though, that their lenses, or the inserts, sorry, are a bit too big and you kind of can feel them with the facial interface that comes with the crystal but they have redesigned them now however they still are quite big I think that's just a limitation of the spherical lenses in the crystal but I am using a Pimax um, 8KX facial interface and that works really well with these lenses that's just a bit of a tip for you I do have a 15% discount code and you're going to need it because they are quite expensive but they do work really really well and look at the views here, absolutely stunning. So I think I'll leave the video here as we're enjoying Scotland. And I've just realized something very ironic here. This particular system from Stormforce is called a Stormforce Crystal. And I'm running it with a Pimax Crystal. <laughs> yeah, I kind of find that a bit amusing, but hey. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, as always. I truly appreciate it. And I'll see you again very soon. Look at that view. Bye-bye for now.